Woo! Hello, Maze Blue fans. As always, like, share, subscribe, and let's just get into it. So, today Michigan played Wisconsin at home, 7.30 prime time, and we smoked them. <laughs> there ain't nothing else to really say. I can end the video right here. We smoked them. But, you know, we got to analyze what happened and everything. You know, we got to talk Michigan. So, let's just get into it. Now, it was 38-13. Let's see. Wisconsin, Jonathan Taylor had about 100 yards rushing. Hornybrook only threw for like 100 yards. He was pretty much horrible. He pretty much ruined any hopes of them having a... a a win or even being close in this game. He was just bad. They didn't even want to throw the ball. They ended up getting a touchdown late to make it 13, but they really couldn't do anything this whole game. Like, their whole offense, they could run the ball on us, but with no passing game, you're not just going to be able to run it on Michigan, and you saw what happened. So, I'm just going to get into it because it was just – this game was a controlled – ass kicking like it was a control ass kicking like michigan michigan should have been up 21 to 21 7 first half or something like that they were up 13 7 and it should have been more than that but second half michigan just kept at it kept at it and then you get the final score wisconsin got the the td at the end but it didn't matter you know what i'm saying it didn't matter it was just a wrap. Michigan was just consistently scoring points. So I'm just now I'm just going to break down what I saw from the defense and what I saw from the offense. So I'm going to go on the defense first because they didn't, the defense the defense played lights out besides one drive really when uh Michigan scored their first touchdown and Wisconsin came right back down and scored theirs. It was Jonathan Taylor running and then Michigan got beat on a reverse. The line, the safeties were up too close to the line and got sucked in on the reverse. So when he came around, there was one man to beat, and he, he beat him. So besides that, they were locked, locked down. Now, I'm on, the defense as a whole needs, needs to be shot out as a whole. But these players were lights out. David Long. David Long was coming off like he'd be on one receiver and he'd see the the ball being thrown to another receiver that was in his area and he he'd tip it or either break off his receive break off his coverage and disrupt disrupt the other receiver and that made big plays so David Long Lavert Hill got a TD in the third third quarter I want to see say pick six. Uh, Devin Bush, Quiddy Pay, Cutie Pay, Uche, Josh Mattel is playing big, got another pick. That boy is stepping up and playing lights out. That's how you come back when you made mistakes in a big game that cost us last year. This year, that dude is making up for his mistakes and he's balling out for us. That's that's growth as a player. You don't know, just uh I made mistakes last year. Guess what? You got the whole offseason to get better and and help your team and be a leader. Shout out to Josh Metellus, man. Dude been balling and I'm loving it. I'm loving it. Cuz I'll critique a player and say they garbage. If they play garbage, they play garbage. But I'll be the first one to step up and say you balling. Dude is balling. So shout out to Josh Metellus. This dude is a leader for us. Now, uh the only, only thing I can say bad about the defensive play that I just noticed is in the run game, I saw too many I saw too many too many plays where Jonathan Taylor was carrying five, six guys. Like too many, too many broken t arm tackles and he's just getting four, five, six yards after contact. Too many of those plays. Michigan has to work on that and gang tackle and, you know, just come with that thunder. You can't be letting running backs carry you like that and stuff. Like, 
that was if if they had a passing game the way he was running it, it they might have actually had some but they didn't have a passing game but I'm always looking for the I'm always looking to the future in the next game so that's why I, that's why I bring this stuff up but besides that I, I can't say nothing about the defense the this was this was a hell of a defensive performance from top to bottom. It was it was just beautiful. Like besides that one that one that one drive, it was beautiful. The one the the touchdown at the end, that was wash up time. The game was over. So that's all I got to say to the about the defense. Rashawn I'm I'm not sure I'm not sure if Rashawn Gary was at the game. Normally they show a player like that on the sideline or whatever. I'm not sure, but we didn't miss him. Uche, Kudipe, Solomon. Hey, lights out. Them dudes can ball. Uh, it ain't just uh, Rashawn's taking up this. Nah, those dudes are ballers. Let's give them their credit. Shay. I mean, uh, Chase. Balling out, man. Chase. Shout out to Chase, man. He a leader. He a leader on that D-line. Dude waited his time, and he's making the most of it. So Now, let's get on the offense. Now, the offense was good for the most part. The offense was doing what it needed to do. The running game started off slow. It was it was real slow, but Shea, Shea was picking them apart. The only thing that I have to say about the offense is if, if Shea is rolling – Picking up, picking up, picking apart the defense like he was the first in the first half and the first couple drives. Save that trick play stuff, Harbaugh. Don't get cute. Even the, cause it was the first drive and Shea's picking them apart. They take Shea off the field and bring in Joe Milton. Like why? Why did you do that? They know he's gonna try to run it, so he comes in, gets stuffed on first down. And it, it it basically ruins our our drive, and then we miss a field goal. So there was uh, there was that play. There was another play in the red zone. We do a reverse to uh, uh, Ambry Thomas. When stop being when uh, when when our offense is clicking and we're mo- getting Shay, he's making throws and Hickton is getting his runs there and there. We don't need to do trick plays. We wanted to see trick plays when we our offense is struggling. That's when we saying open up the playbook. We don't care if you we don't need we don't as fans, we're not saying open up the playbook when our offense is clicking and our quarterback or our running back is eating up the defense. No, I don't open it up. Those with trick plays and stuff. As far as open it up, we were just talking about throw it, let Shea throw it down the field. So that's what we were saying with that, but Yes, don't get. It's one thing, uh, 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 offensive coordinator or a coach, head coach can get in his own in his own way sometimes, trying to be too cute when the basic stuff is working. Your regular play calls are working, so there's no need to get cute. Just continue what you're doing. Don't get cute, cause he, I, there was about three trick plays and none of them worked. So. When we're clicking, don't get cute. Now, if the offense is stagnant and they're they're on everything, then get cute. Try a trick play or whatever. And my next point, Shea, Shea needs to be more decisive when he when he wants to decide to run the ball. When when he's dropped back to pass and he decides nothing's there and he wants to scramble, he has to be decisive on what he's gonna do. If you're going to run, go on and pick a lane and get out of there. Tuck the ball and get out of there. He fumbled. Shea fumbled. Uh, he was trying to get out the pocket. He was indecisive. And he fumbled. Ball goes back like eight, nine yards. Luckily, a tight end got on it. And it wasn't a big turnover because that could have been that could have been a big turnover also. But we got back on it. No harm, no foul. And... We finally, we finally got to see what I've been saying all season. Shea, the read has been there all year for Shea. Pull the ball, baby. Pull it. And at this point, I know it was just Harbaugh and the, the offensive coordinator telling him not to pull it. Because when Dylan would get in blowouts, he'd pull it. 
So I'm knowing it was it was just the, they were telling him not to pull it. But we saw when he pulls it, it's there. Like I've been seeing it all year. It, the backside has been coming down on the running back. So he's had plenty of times where he could have pulled it and got 20 yards, 15 yards. You saw today he took 180. Should have been a should have should have took it all the way to the house, but you know, but he took it 80s. End up scoring on that drive. That's that's what we want to see. Like he pulled another one and got a was it a yeah he got a TD on a, another Russian TD. He pulled it. So that's what I want to see us pulling it. That's that's going to be the the base of our of our offensive running game and just making it. So now when you see when we have to play OSU and these teams and they got the quarterback pulling it, we can give them a taste of their own medicine and let them see how how, how it feels to have to defend defend the whole field and the, and the quarterback. Cuz for the most for for a while we haven't had anybody that could run like that. So we just running the read. We've run, been running the read with nothing, you know, they don't have to worry about it. Now it's there. So that's big for the offense as a whole. Now, now you'll start seeing a complete offense now that Shea is pulling it. So that's that's part of opening up the offense as well, though. The offensive line, they wore they wore down Wisconsin's D line. That was good to see. We haven't seen that in a long time against a good team. They wore them out. By the time the game was over, Shea had like 80 yards. Taking down numbers from the sack. So he had like 80. Higdon had 100. Uh, I think Chris Evans had like 30. True Wilson had like 40 yards rushing. Uh, Dylan McCaffrey got in with the backups. Dude is hungry. When he gets in, he wants six. He took one 44 yards in a fast, like in a heartbeat. He was just pulled it cut up field and he was off to the races he took it that was beautiful on the part of dylan mccaffrey you can't run a read a read play any better than he did but don't but don't get now now fans don't start saying we dylan needs to be the starter let's chill out shea took 180 so just calm down just calm down i know i know the fan base i know how we get calm down we gotta we got the starter but uh, besides that, uh, I see they're put, trying to put in Joe Milton because he's. I think he's pissed off because he w hasn't been getting any playing time, even in blowouts. So we saw Joe get in on the one trick play, trying to get him, get him some. Then he got in at the end, and Joe took one like twenty some yards, and he was. You can see the elusiveness of Joe, like when he finally gets his chance to start. He's going to be hell for these teams. But for the most part, this is this was the most complete game from Michigan you're going to see. We had, besides the fumble from Shea, Higdon, now I will say Higdon, it was a third and one or third and two. Higdon tried to, Higdon could have cut up, took on a, took on a, a defender and got the first down. He decides to try to, Hit a little inside outside move and go outside. And Wisconsin's Wisconsin's true freshman free safety lit him up. Perfect, perfect tackle. Helmet on the ball. The ball goes flying freaking 10 yards towards the sideline. Luckily it rolled out because that could have been another scoop and score. Like Michigan, I will say this Michigan got lucky on. Two two plays that if if Wisconsin gets on gets to the ball first, they're scooping scores. So we gotta sure up that Shea when you're running around, tuck that ball and and uh Higdon. Know the down and distance. It's third and one, third and two. You can cut up and get the first down. Don't try to bounce it out when we just need the first down. Because that, that could have been a big play because we, we we weren't up a lot at that time. We were up probably seven so no we yeah we were up probably six at that time i want to say so that's just something you know you gotta be on top of that know the down and distance 
Now, Quinn Nordeen, I think he missed two field goals. And they were knuckleballs. He he kicked like three knuckleballs. They were just going sideways. Like you, I've never seen a kicker kick like three knuckleballs. He might kick one and then get back to you know the perfect spin. Like, but he kicked like three like that. Missed two. Hit one that was a knuckleball, and then he made another uh, field goal later on. I think, yeah, to make it twenty four. But uh. We need him because you never know when you're going to be in a tight game and you need your kicker to just, you know, you get in the you get to the 30 cuz he can kick it from long. So if we get to the 30, we need him confident that he can make those kicks so we can so we can get some points on the board or even if it's a tight game and that pressure kick, we need we need Quinn confident. That's just we need I know it's a kicker but they can come in very big. But besides that, there ain't much to say. About about four teams in the top ten lost. So get ready to see uh, get ready to see Michigan in the top six, seven, something like that. Like we, we'll we'll be in the top ten next week. But uh, we got Michigan State next week, so it, it ain't gonna get easier. It's not going to get easier. So we got Michigan State next week. I'm glad they beat Penn State. I'm glad they won. Because if they would have lost, they it, nothing nothing would ma- make D'Antonio happy, happier than and, uh than beating us when they've ha- when they have two losses in a row. So I'm gl- I'm glad they beat Penn State. Because Michigan State they they really do hate us. I mean, we hate them. But we look at them as like a big bro- a little brother. They look at us as the the big step brother that they didn't that they didn't want. So they 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 hate us and they really do want to beat us. They play their A game on defense or offense. Usually on defense when they play us, they they bring their A game. So we 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 have to be ready for them. It's not we saw today what the potential they they can do. They just beat Penn State, so. We got to be ready for Michigan State, little brother. Got to be ready for him. But ain't it really ain't nothing to say. The play calling was good for the most part besides the trick plays. And the defense was lights out. It was. I know I saw Cannell look like he was injured. I'm not sure if he came back in the game. But I didn't really see any more injuries besides that. So on the next week and just handling business. We just got to continue to handle business, and we'll be where we want to be, and that's in the Big Ten Championship and in the playoff. Now, as always, like, share, subscribe. Go Blue.